Um, so all semester long, I've been looking forward to getting the fall schedule um, brought into the library, but we didn't know how to work at the library. So um, when we finally did get it, um, I was looking for a class in particular, which was advanced digital editing. And um, I was looking for that class because I'm a major film, so it was important to me to get that class for universities and just because um, um, I needed some practice with my editing. So when I found out that there was that class, um, I started looking for something else and I saw that there was a 60 millimeter um, digital editing class, which um, is practically the same thing. You're still um, editing a movie, but you're doing it in a film reel, which uh, nobody uses anymore. And I was like, why take this if um, when nobody's using it, um, universities are not asking for it, and um, why should we be trying to revive something that's dead? So uh, today I'm going to be arguing why we should move on with digital and um, not try to revive film anymore. So first of all, um, digital is way cheaper. Um, you can get an SD card and film all day if you want. Well, it depends on how many gigabytes. But um, uh, it's compared to film, you're going to have to buy the film, and that only lasts three to four hours. And if you get one shot wrong, you're screwed because you can't like redo it, or um, and you're just wasting a lot of money and time. And for um, the film industry, time is money, and um, so practically if you're shooting with film, you're just screwed. And um, film now, since it's not used a lot, um, you're going to need a lot of like sponsors and stuff, which would um, lead to not having the same creativity um, when making a film. Um, there was, I saw a documentary called Side by Side, which was basically about this topic that was um, people who want to stick with film and people who want to do digital. Um, and the people who argued about um, still sticking with film were practically just saying that people who today um, shoot with digital don't have enough creativity um, when making a uh, movie because uh, with film you're supposed to just have one shot and you're supposed to like get it right but I think with digital you have more options and it gives you even more creativity because if you don't like one shot one way you could always do it another way and when editing you could just bring the ones that you actually came out better and liked better and um, you could always just throw out other stuff and with film you wouldn't um, be able to do that. You, if you don't have the right, like the greatest artistic view, your movie's just gonna go down the hill, and then um, you're always gonna be missing pieces that you could have um, just like retaken or done otherwise. Um, also, with um, with time and money um, and vision, um, I saw there was this. Um, cinematographer who um, did Benjamin Button. So Benjamin Button was all shot in digital and um, could, it could have easily been in film. They were trying to do it in film by getting other actors like young, I don't, like probably, though Benjamin Button is about like a person who is old, like he's born old and then turns into like instead of growing old, he grows younger. So um, with film, you, what they could have done is just brought different people in. And, um, but I don't think it would have the same effect as in how they shot in digital. And they practically, they got, um, was it Brad Pitt? Brad Pitt's um, the actor. And he just stood there. And they all did it in um, visual effects. like. Him aging and growing like um, younger, 
it was all him, like the same, like they can't, if there was no makeup involved, it was just editing and um, shot digitally. So I think that um, there should be more classes offered for that, even for people who are not in, um, a film major, because um, where, like for example, I have a Polaroid, right? And I'm always going to choose my phone over my Polaroid because Polaroid um, film is so expensive. And so with digital, everybody can take a video. And maybe sometimes like that's um, something bad. Like they say it's bad because everybody can take a video. And it's not going to be cool. It's not going to be the greatest. But since now we're growing up digitally, I think that could lead us to be the, the next greatest cinematographers as they once were with film. So, um, yeah, I think we should just move on and alongside technology and digital and try not to revive something that's already dead. Because it's there, it's good, but we should move along. All right, Eduardo, what did you think? Um, she did pretty well. Um, she tends to move her hands a lot and rambles a bit. Um, she was moving her feet at the beginning. Um, she says, I'm too much. And I felt like I was, in, I was more informed than persuaded, I guess. OK. Well, I think you said some of the things about the delivery that I thought uh, also. Uh, I think your eye contact's pretty solid. Uh, you do gesture quite a bit, uh, but I didn't think that was bad. Sometimes it seemed a little bit too regular. It's like you've got the same gesture movement that you're doing repeatedly, and maybe a little bit more diversity on that. Uh, I think uh, Eduardo's right. Your feet, you've got nervous feet. You're crossing your legs and moving around a little bit anxiously, and you need to plant yourself a little bit more confidently. So delivery-wise, I think he picked out a few things. The subject's an interesting one. It's a very specialized subject, I think, for most people. Uh, I like the way that you start off by talking about your own needs. Um, you, you are a film major, you are interested in taking a particular class, it's not being offered, and so you're stuck with this other option, which involves a, a technology that is largely antiquated. I do think that there's a place here for some information about the subject. For instance, uh, what, percentage of film is, what percentage of films or, or movies or production is done on film now versus uh, digital? That would be an easy thing to, I think, find information on, say, of the uh, 500 major releases by the movie studios last year, 90% of them were uh, digital productions that uh, you know, are delivered uh, through uh, digital projection systems and editing systems and that sort of thing. They are video recorded as opposed to filmed. And as a consequence, this is clearly the future that's going on. And, and then you make a stronger argument on that particular point. I'm not sure that it's 90%. I'm sure it's pretty high. I just don't know. I know when it comes to the professionals, there's still uh, some of those which you would call probably uh, mustache Pete's old timers, you know, uh, grumpy grandpas, whatever, that still want to use film in some particular places. I know that uh, Spielberg's one of those people that's kind of stuck with film, and then there are a couple of others that think film is, you know, uh, really where they want to work. But there, there's probably a broader uh, group of people that are do doing this kind of stuff that where it's not just we're not talking about major Hollywood productions, we're talking about short films, we're talking about 
um, independent productions. We're talking about industrial uh, presentations and uh, things that are done for educational purposes. There's just a lot of this, and the, and people need the skill to be able to do this in the computer because that's the thing that makes it so accessible to so many people. And I, it's again, that's not hard to show that. Uh, we have a vast variety of people who are using digital tools in order to be productive. Um, you know, earlier Robert mentioned YouTube, for instance. You go on YouTube and there's just a ton of stuff that people have put on YouTube that is all done uh, in the computer. It's not stuff that they went out and filmed. Uh, it's, it's stuff that they basically they have uh, recorded some things and then they've enhanced uh, material and there's just all kinds of digital material that's available out there and I think you could show that that in fact does uh, enhance uh, creativity. I know I know what uh, the argument that you talk about at one point that you seem to be diminishing and that's that uh, film forces the uh, filmmakers to be creative, make sure they get right, plan more carefully, think about what to do, uh, have to worry about coverage, all those sorts of things and uh, there, are all, there are lots of famous examples of how you know being creative in that particular situation has produced something fantastic but the, I think your other idea is, look, you know, if you have more opportunities, if you have um, less overhead costs, if you have, uh, you know, uh, the ability to fix something in editing or digitalize it, that makes you more creative. And what's proof of that? Well, here are 10, you know, videos that have more than 100 million hits online that are all produced digitally and, you know, give us some examples of those kinds of things. As it is, it just feels a little bit underdeveloped. It's, it's like you've got this personal idea, you maybe read it, uh, you saw the one film about it, uh, the documentary, was it Side by Side? Yeah, and maybe read an article or two about it, and you, you know, you're ready to go, and I think you need to be more ready to go. I think, I think there's an argument to be made here. I think there's, you know, even though it's a little bit narrow, I still think that you could turn it into something uh, that would be interesting and compelling for the audience, but you've got to find some more information to do that with. There doesn't seem to be much of a plan or structure as you're going along, and it, it's not laid out at the beginning, which is strange, because this is one of those things that we've talked about, and everybody today seems to be having a little bit of trouble uh, previewing what the contents of their presentation is, and I don't understand why. We've done that for four speeches so far, and I've you know, harped on it and asked people to do it, and I, I've drawn you pictures, and we've looked at examples, and I don't know, somebody apparently thinks that I'm just making this, you know, and I'm telling it to you because I don't have anything else to say, you know, and I'm going, well, you know, you, you guys know, I'm, I don't mean to yell at you, it's just other people fall in that category too, and you just happen to be the one I'm talking to right now, so please don't take it all personally, it's just, my gosh, people, come on, let's get it together. This is, this is the last couple of weeks of the class, and this is, uh, what you've been doing all semester long, and you, this is supposed to be the apex of what you're doing, and your game's off. Your game's off a little bit. I think you've got good topics. I think you've got some interesting ways to talk about it, and everybody seems to be trying to do a good job to speak. That part I like. The delivery things, I think people are doing a good job on that. But you've got to get those basics down, and we're supposed to have had those down eight weeks ago. So that's a little bit of a problem. All right, thank you.